Hey, what's the deal, y'all? This is your girl Pony on Pony's Tarot. I already have your spread out, so what we have? Codependency. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. So, yeah, I can't admit that I drink um, my wine before I go to sleep. That's why I didn't do my uh, read when I got home, but I drank my wine and I got in a hot tub and I almost fell asleep in the tub. So, yes, sometimes I drink and I say I'm going to go somewhere and then I get to drinking and don't go. So, uh, forgive and learn. As you release and heal the path, you experience more love in your present moment. Yeah, so learn from that. Learn that, you know, um, drink a little less or whatever it is that you're doing is probably taking your energy away from you putting yourself out there and being available from just going to work at home with some of y'all. This could be the one. You already met the romantic partner you're seeking. So with you sincerely moving on, even if this is a twin flame connection, and if it's not, it works both ways. You have to sincerely be moving on. Chemistry, yes. The chemistry have to be sincere. It can't be fake. This is a strong med, uh, magnet attraction here. Yeah, so yeah, you want your partner, if you're a twin flame connection, especially if you want your partner to come back quicker, you have to get on it. You deserve love. You are lovable, yes. So that somebody can recognize this in case you don't take your twin flame of this person back for some of y'all stay optimistic about your love life don't put all your eggs in one basket positive thinking and faith will bring you romance so even if you're going through a depression like i always tell you go through your depression be sad so that you can know how to deal with it and get over it quicker what you need to ask yourself two of cups are you ready to commit to someone or something you love star card what needs to heal in order for you to realize your your deepest dreams yeah what with this aquarius energy will keep you at the top of the mountain you know that air that's at the top of the mountain what's gonna keep you going up yeah with your feelings with this cancer energy but that crab that gets to work There's 17 on the star card, staying positive. Yes, and optimistic. Um, <clears throat> you have a nine of pentacles in reverse, which will make sense. Keep your magic to yourself and your situation of what, about what you want in the equal give and take. So these people can't just come up to you and give you what you want because they see what you want or they heard what you want. Let people naturally show you. That they can even qualify. Yes. Uh, with this Virgo energy to me. Because it's in reverse. It's like you're taking your beauty away. You know your love and passion. And you're holding on to it. Yeah with this Aquarius in this bull. Yeah six of pentacles. It's the conclusion. What situation in your life needs balance? What six. What you need to reflect so you get this magic going. So this could be as well as your partner need to get their magic going. Someone is resisting change, avoiding tragedy, and trying to resist loss <clears throat> under this two of cups. So whoever's in this situation is trying to avoid loss. <clears throat> Excuse me, I just woke up, so my energy low. <clears throat> Leadership. Yes, you over there looking like a star and because you coming out in the middle, I really feel like your person is ready to release this. And this person that they're with, partner, lover, yeah, you're, is not trying to change. But your person, this is under your person, non because they're trying to release this. Because I guess with this Virgo energy, it's not very beautiful, passionate Nothing really going on over there. They ready to change their intellect and heart in a big goddamn way. Where they probably trying to change it and see that what your way and how you're doing things is going to work permanently. 
Yes, the way you work, the way you do your leadership and your Aries energy, it works. And this person that they're with is having a lack of foresight and planning. Your person is over there sad. We talked about this in the last reading. It's the same dude. Okay, because you're changing. You could be experiencing some negative emotions when it comes to this and how you think of your person. But at the same time, if this is not for everybody, at the same time, you know you've done things to this person as well. You might feel a thing of guilt, but at the same time, still feeling feeling like you should move on. Yeah, your person's at the end of their rope. Because, like I said, no matter if you did something too, you still feel like you should move on. And there's trouble coming out the uh, pen when it comes to this love off process because they, partner, excuse me, because they have a lack of process. They have a lack of heart. They Aries energy is in reverse. They're not at the top of the mountain when it comes to anything. Ew, even their communication and how mentally they think is in reverse. Yes. And you over here looking like a dream, fantasizing. You in your feelings. You isolating yourself. That's why you have to get out. Yeah. Don't abandon yourself. Don't change who you are. Don't stay not doing what you used to do because of this person. But if you're depressed, I get what you're going through. But I'm just trying to give some people... That advice, and when you get over your depression, you'll know what to do. You know, like we talked about, going into better neighborhoods, going to get gas, grocery shopping, just doing the simple things, just going in better places and manifesting, being in it. Yes, and if you have been moving around a lot, you have your person in this page of source kind of energy. You have them curious. And that's probably what's delaying communication. They really don't know how to come at you. They're trying to be calculating. Someone who's unconcerned with the feelings of others. Mm. Oh. So what that means to me is you're not concerned with the feelings of others. You're curious about this new situation. To me, pages don't always represent kids or immaturity, it represent, represents, excuse me, something new, something would be immature if you're trying to grow and learn about it, right? I feel like you the one trying to release this devil-ass energy, or you at the end of your rope, that's why you coming in with this big-ass sword of heart and intellect. That's why it's easy for you to release this energy. What situation in your life is calling you to have independence and self-realization? That's you. And whoever this star is is sad because they're not in realization. I feel like this is the part I love. Remember the fake star that think they know shit, but they really know they don't. And they know they need to change because they sad because they know that they have a problem with how they look at life. With the situations and the people they choose to hang around with, they probably still have to front like they in this energy, staying positive with this 17 because they don't want people to know that they weak as fuck. So you're probably dealing with someone or have your partner dealing with someone that's a real big shit talker. They think they're a badass while your person's over there in this two of cup energy trying to give an equal give and take in their situation. Yes, with this tired mama trying to avoid a loss, and that's probably with you. Because they ready to return back to travel, move home. But they have a lack of foresight. Because there's a lot, lack of process. Yes. They have a lack of process because this person probably feel guilty for what they put you through. And they don't know how to come at you. Didn't try to get to know you. You don't want to have sex with them. Didn't try to get to know you. So now it's kind of like you know if this person come in and been like, 
and be like, excuse me, how's your day going and shit like this. You know this person didn't give a shit to ask you that before. It was fake before. So why they care now? This person can't even come to you with an honest just conversation because you know they really don't give a shit about how you've been doing or they would have not put you through that stupid shit, tried to control you, go out their way to do it. You know, all that time this person spent fucking with you, they could have just been minding their business and getting their lives together, even if they uh, been watching you before, you know. Instead of them saying, you know what, I'm going to get my life together before I step to Sagittarius. <laughs> they thought they was going to break you to avoid conflict. So now this person's trying to be in 17 energy, trying to be optimistic and stay positive just like they partner is, but it's for two different fucking reasons. They trying to avoid you, losing you with this tragedy. And this person that love that we they're the ones trying to take leadership and take charge and act like being an impulsive someone who's inspiring to create achievements. Okay, so I feel like this love or partner is trying to front like they are like you. They trying to see see this love or partner is in comp this is you and they're in competition with it. This is like some trailer park dressing motherfucker trying to compete with a ballroom gown, opera singing, you know, elegant person. I'm not saying that's your energy, but compared to it, you know, it's like a hood rat or a ghetto person that don't know how to act in person, places, or things, you know, don't know how to change to a person that has manners and care to have them. When really they in their feelings and they sad about the action and energy they have to, that they're learning that they're not. They shit is a delusion. It's a fancy. The cleaning crew is here today. I hope y'all been having a good day. So your person don't want to have sex, they not inspired by this bullshit no more. Yes, whatever this person learned, they can science is kicking in. Yeah, they can science and they're in their ego, but it's backwards. They have no fucking ego. Because they, when they compare themselves to you, they feel like this. They look at the shit they have been supporting. And you in the back of them. They can't even look at you. Like you really blasting their asses, whoever this partner or lover is. Making them go take several seats, proud community. You feeling indecisive sometimes about this relationship, probably because you know you've done shit to this person, but you know they push you to that point. That's why you sometimes probably forget that you did shit too. Awareness. Sometimes you have a lack of self-awareness and unwilling to learn from your karmic mistake because you really feel deep in your heart that this push, this person, excuse me, pushed you to be like this with them. You know, pushed them, pushed you to judge them in such a negative ass way to cause such a uh, difference in your relationship or th for this person to take you serious. So this person having foresight and planning, but it's in reverse. 
because they they don't they're trying to make choices they haven't made cho a choice yet about what kind of success they want to go towards or what they can mirror or how they can get in the door with you with these what's that four five six seven ones get lucky but you see three is in reverse whatever is supporting what they trying to mirror they can't get or come up with a reason why they should approach you or even how they're gonna start a conversation. Your person have a lot of grief going on. So is they love them. Yeah. Eleven. This person know they the last one left. That's why they sad. They know if your person leave that they're, they're gonna treat you better. It's not gonna be the bullshit they went through because you have better standards. This person has learned that they are the side chick, the jump off, or the bobblehead dude your person went to because it was just convenient. It was easy. They know that y'all relationship is not going to be just some normal uh, Jerry Springer shit. You don't accept stuff like that in your life. That's what that is for. Jerry Springer shit is for TV, entertainment, and your life. You take your life more serious. That's why you at the end of your rope. You don't participate in shit like this. This is where you are. With your ten of cups and events and things you choose to participate in. You choose to do things. That's why I said earlier, your person see what you choose to do works for you. On this Jupiter and in your Pisces energy. And then how what you feel. You realize dreams, positive, satisfaction, success, abundance, confidence. Even if you're not in that space right now, you've probably proven that to people or yourself, or you just not in that space, but you know how to get shit done. So while your person's having lack of process, they're over there being the mistress, trying to really use their intuition to figure things out. Now they want to use their fucking brain. I guess this person, bigger, cause and effect, life lessons, honesty, truth. What? So I guess this person, this love our partner, or even your person, maybe they're gonna try to get a new job and start investing and start dedicating and being committed, but to a dream. They want to work hard to a dream. Does that make sense? We already talked about this person might have a low IQ. That's how they want to balance things with this eight pinnacles. They, they way of making magic happen is with material things. So this person probably was judging you off your material things. They seen you as a page of source, small communication, small talk. But now you big talk, homie. You don't feel like you have to be in this devil ass energy temptation where you need attention and show off what you have. You don't want to get robbed. Like the shit you probably have, people probably breaking your house full. They got shit nobody wants. Or they probably do go through stuff where they get go through people breaking their shit and stuff coming up missing, but you probably just don't allow anybody in your house even know where you stay. When you have shit to live for, you don't do that. That's why these people had so much time to play with you or even come this partner lover that you were dealing with came into your life because they had too much fucking time on their hand. And yes, you gave them a peaceful solution with whatever the fuck you communicated and it wasn't much because you had better shit to do. You were starting a new beginning. Rather you had this page energy, you were starting a new beginning. And that's what you communicated. Your person don't want to have sex or do anything when it comes to their lover or partner. Because all they see is that they have material things, but they're still not happy. And you over there, you have material things too, but you happy because you know how to have an act of kindness. 
you get the assignment. Now, who wants to take action? This love our partner wants to take action towards you. They think you weak or vulnerable. Like I said, I feel like this love or partner energy is down the middle. Sorry, it's not yours. Your person is over here. So it's kind of like you and your person is on the outskirts thinking of you thinking of what you need to do. Your person thinking of other things besides this partner or lover. And this partner a lover energy is in the middle because they're thinking about both of y'all. And they're thinking about some kind of action to make you feel vulnerable. They feel inadequate. But at the same time, because this is your card, you could feel inadequate because you don't want to have nothing to do with it. And you know you're better than this. And you know you have shit to live for. And you know that this person get that they're not worth fighting with. You got the material shit. Or you could have it if you want to. You just don't you just put your value into things that mean something. They can't compete with that. They're over there competing with you when it comes to material things, money, clothes, and their haircuts or they, they lace front wigs or whatever. They're competing with you in a unspiritual kind of way, a way that that's not how you maneuver. That's not your motto. This bitch didn't get the email, you know. <laughs> over there working their brain off for nothing. So, yes, it seems like everybody's in this Six of Pentacles energy. Everybody is trying to, your person is trying to see how they can move on and get financial stable or make some kind of magic happen that they've been reflecting on. And this person is looking at your money, looking at your pictures, probably trying to count your, your change. And you over there trying to get your shit together with the new beginning and move on. So, everybody is thinking about how they can make some kind of magic happen, but in a uh, in a different priority type of way, you know, you, and your person is just now getting on the bandwagon with their priorities. You've been on it, and this bitch is just not getting it. This love of partner just don't get it. So you must really make them feel shit. Like it's like it's more to you than just your clothes and what you look like. And this person is still stuck on the beginning of you. So just imagine they probably shitting on themselves when they seen that you was more than just looks. That you have a kind heart, you have common sense. Yes. Well, I tell you, inspiration's in reverse, but your personal emotions are move, uh, coming up. You know, they have the more emotional intelligence they could be in their page energy too starting to look at things different and develop feelings that they knew they could have or you know they look at, you know some people don't know they could have that dream relationship until they see other people in it and maybe your person didn't believe in that or never seen it before and now they see they can have it with you you know the relationships they see in the movies and on TikTok and those good relationships you do see now your person see that that could be one of y'all they don't even want to sleep with this person. They believe in the Pisces. So when it comes to their emotions and shit and where they at, it's zero. It's no good. So now this person want to take action and make you feel vulnerable? Because you are inadequate. So everybody is making this person feel like they're, that this person is not even on their level. Just imagine if this person was to change and learn what the assignment is and that's an act of kindness then they still be copying you like they've been doing boo now what you huh this person refused to wake the fuck up and they see what they need to wake up to but i guess it's kind of like this person want to do the right thing but because it's you that they had to get it from which this is the karma right they've been taking action gossiping and um bitching that's the problem right there. This person is talking too much, watching you too much, watching uh, your twin flame or whoever you was dealing with too, so much and trying to interact with people. They're not getting shit done. And you over here getting shit done. Your person's mind is even changing the way they want to get shit done. And this person is stuck. The karmic is stuck on stupid. That's what's going to be the name of this video. This bitch is stuck on stupid. This bobblehead fool, this this damn rat that she didn't got with, he's stuck on dumb. 
super stupid, jumbo slow, ignorant. You know, ignorant means when you know something is better for you, but you just choose not to do it. I mean, not you know something is good for you. It's not that. It's like you could at least try before you say it's not good for you because it might be. But when you don't even try, that's ignorant. And that's where this person's at. They're being ignorant. You could have been acting a little lazy, Sagittarius, and uh, maybe you are suspicious to these people because I feel like I work hard just as much as I play hard. So I'll work, 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 and then my family be like, oh, you a workaholic. And then when I'm sitting on my ass for a long time, people think I'm lazy. It's because you didn't ask me. You're not paying attention to when I do work because people only want to know what they choose to know. If you want to choose to think I'm lazy and not see all the hard work I've been doing to get this privilege to sit on my ass, then you would think I'm lazy. So these people probably don't know how you rock. They don't know how to get shit done, and we know how to manifest. So we know how to work hard and then let God take over the wheel, or we know how to ask God for what we want and then let it go and put in the work. And know when we don't need to put in the work, waiting on the, the intuition to kick in to let us know when to take the next steps. Believe me, I know how to manifest. These people don't even know the more they play with you, the more your intuition go up because you're learning new games or how people play the same game, but just in different ways. So the karma is stuck on stupid. This is an unrequired love. Your person knows that. And they know they have personal boundaries because they don't really give a shit about themselves. They just want to be in the spotlight and have the karmic in the background or have the karmic as a peasant, a bobblehead, sideshow bob, a doormat, some shit just blowing in the wind. I guess as long as your person gave this person hair and nail money or um, whatever he or she like, you know, he liked tennis shoes or clothes. This person was fine with that. They was greed. They was fine with being underpaid. As long as they looked good. Patching shit up. Looking fine like Juvie say, and you starving too. Looking fine, but they starving. You privileged. You saving your money, working on a lump sum, being responsible, working on your values, support, business, family, home, issues, riches, old money, honey. That's you. You over there making that kind of magic happen. Your person over there trying to make choices. This bitch is going to stay in regret because they just don't get it. And secretly, they going to keep it. So I guess they going to act like a clown in front of everybody and secretly cry at home. Because that's what they've been doing. You've been having a lack of completion. When it comes to your magic, you've been a little stagnant. You probably have been, because it's a page of pen, page of swords kind of energy, you've probably been learning things and having to go through little things you didn't know you had to do to get things done type of thing. And that's why it's a little disappointment, but you're not because you're still going. 